Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I'm a full-time filmmaker and I drop editing tutorials every single Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the zoom through eye transition that you guys just saw. Before we get into that, I actually wanted to address the sound quality in my videos. I know uh, it's a little bit echoey in here right now. Me and my wife actually just moved into a new house, so I'm getting my studio set up. I have a couple pillows in here to kind of help with that echo, but it doesn't really do much. I have some uh, soundproof pads actually coming in the mail that I'm going to be putting up on the wall. So stay tuned for that. I'm actually going to do a video on putting my whole studio together. As you can tell right now, it's really bare and uh, I'll give you guys a full tour once it's finished. Alright, let's actually get into the video. There's actually a couple ways you guys can do this transition. The first way is a lot harder than the second way. You saw the first way at the very beginning of that video with the detailed eye that zoomed into the beach. That shot is a little bit harder because you need a camera that shoots 4K, you need some really good lighting, and you need a macro lens that can get really good detailed shots. The second way is actually a lot easier. All you need is a decent light, a camera, and a tripod. Everything else is done in post-production. So let's get into it. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna show you guys how I do the eye transition. First, let's go check out the footage that we're gonna be working with. The first shot is going to be this eye. It's kind of creepy looking at an eye this close, but kind of cool at the same time. And we're just gonna be zooming in through this black part. I believe it's the iris. Not sure, don't quote me on that. Then we're gonna zoom through that into this beach shot over here. It's fairly easy, but the only hard part actually about this shot is shooting the eye shot because you need that 4K camera and you need the macro lens to get that much detail in the eye. But once you get that shot, it's fairly easy to do it in Premiere Pro. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna bring this uh, video up to the top. The first thing that I do is I do the movement. So we're gonna start from the beginning. You're gonna to wanna to come over to the left side. You're gonna to wanna to click position and scale. You're gonna start here. You're gonna move over a little bit. It's already kind of going in a little bit. And then right when it gets to the right here, we are going to zoom in. And then once it's right there, we're gonna do the final zoom, which is gonna be a lot quicker. So let's move it forward to the end. And then right when it gets to here, we're just gonna zoom all the way until the black fills the screen. And that's it, and let's see what it looks like. Zoom in. Boom. I actually wanna make that zoom in a little bit faster. To do that, all you have to do is come over to your keyframe right here on the left side and move it a little bit closer to the end. So let's see. Yeah, that's a little bit faster, I like that. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here, grab the beach clip, and you're gonna put it right underneath that eye transition. So we wanna put it right when it starts to zoom in, which is gonna be right there. So let's go right there. Yep, that's perfect. Now that you have the motion of the clip of the eye zooming in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to opacity right over here. You're gonna click this first clip Make sure that it's clicked on this first clip and you have three options under this opacity. You have the circle, the square, and then the draw tool. The draw tool, you can draw any shape you want, but since it's an eyeball, what we're going to do is get the circle. All right, now that you see there's a circle here, but the clip is backwards, we actually want to see the eye. You're going to come down and you're going to click invert. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag this clip to the size of that eyeball. All right, so now that you guys have this black part covering the eyeball, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to come down to mask path and you're gonna to wanna to click that to make sure that, that your mask actually follows the black part of the eye. So after you're done clicking mask path, you'll see that your uh, blue line went away. To, to get it back, all you have to do is click mask and there you go, you have this uh, the blue line that you're gonna be working with back. All right, and all you're gonna to wanna to do is go frame by frame. You're gonna to wanna to click a couple seconds forward and just pull it out so that it keeps covering it. Click a couple seconds forward and let's pull it out a little bit more and there it is. 
It's the beach scene. All right, but before you do anything else, it's almost finished. All you have to do is come back over here to the left side and you're gonna see mask path. You're gonna go right underneath that and you're gonna make sure that you bring up that feather. And just like that, it is complete. So let's play that back. So I know that tutorial was actually really fast. I'm gonna go more in depth on that transition in the near future. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. It will help me out a lot. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. I'm out.